How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night. It is the Earthmaster out here, about 9.23 in the p.m. out here in California, November 18, 2024 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the globe shows a 2.7 earthquake there across the Mediterranean. Uh, look at that super deep earthquake here. In the, uh, well, it looks like it's going to be around the China area earlier today. Super deep earthquake. Uh, USGS not reporting that earthquake up here. Could be even around the Russia or Mongolia area. But that uh, is a super deep one. Let's see, uh, 507 kilometers deep. Goodness for that uh, earthquake earlier. All right, uh, see what else we got here across the area since uh, this morning's update, California update here. Uh, I was watching a little bit of swarming going on here across the Salton Sea area earlier this afternoon. It looks like that has come to a halt uh, with uh, just a few earthquakes there about the time I did that update. Mainly ones out there across the area. Nothing major going on there for now, but I do like to uh, keep an eye on this area when we start seeing some swarming out there. Uh, around that area of the state it is a uh, uh, kind of an extension of fault boundary out here but more so in terms of a uh, continental rift boundary uh, we got a lot of older volcanic activity out here and this is where um, a portion of the uh, uh, the area kind of splits apart slowly but surely and uh, that's how we get those uh, volcanoes out here in this region and then, of course we go up to the San Andreas Fault where uh, you know there's enough strain up there to produce a mega quake, 8.1. Uh, aside from that, let's see here. There's that earthquake off the San Andreas Fault from last night, little 2.4. Rest of California out here, pretty spotty. One earthquake here on the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault here, 1.1. Uh, That's a major. Bay Area, fairly quiet. Uh, well, smaller movement up here outside of Redding, but uh, really nothing major going on out there across the area for now. Uh, a look at the trimmer map here. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer where we have, uh, oh wow, a 22 epicenter count. Not a big deal at all. Uh, majority of that down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone here, but uh, really not seeing anything else going on out there of noteworthy value for now. Uh, a couple smaller quakes outside of Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, the Seattle Fault up here. A couple more earthquakes here this after. Or, uh, oh, there's 1.8 from this morning. This has been a little area of hot spot uh, movement recently on the western edge here and the eastern edge of the Seattle Fault Zone. Uh, that area runs directly underneath that major city, Seattle. Uh, Two-pointer from early this morning out there across the area of Washington. If you look here on the map, we got a little bit of swarming out here around the Hebgen Lake area. Uh, this is a region that had that big seven-pointer. Um, oh, I can't remember the exact date, but it's been a while. Um, occasionally, we get some swarming out there. It's well outside of Yellowstone, but the Yellowstone overviews do pick them up here. Uh, looks like it's going to be uh, these quakes out here around the Maple Creek area. There's a handful of them, nothing big. Um, Looks like the largest is going to be a 2.3. And some more earthquake activity, it looks like, around the Grant Village area. handful of earthquakes out there uh, earlier this afternoon. Uh, a couple of those being reported here further down in the region. Actually, they're only reporting two of them, even though there's a, a little bit more than two earthquakes there on that map. Uh, but aside from that, the super volcano continues to rest, and that's what we want. Texas area, oil fields still getting hit. The latest quake at 1.9 out there around Pecos, Texas. And uh, let's see, New, New Madrid seismic zone, pretty quiet. One little interesting earthquake here in northern Alabama near Sipsi. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Sipsi, I, I think that's the only way to pronounce that, right? Hopefully. Um, not for sure what's out here heavily vegetated that's for sure that's what i love about the southern states there's lots of trees and i am a tree guy let me tell you um hard to say what's out there this image here is a little on the blurry side but uh right where the epicenter 2.5 struck there earlier uh, i don't see anything of anything that would tell me that it's oil fields out there or any type of pumping operations Nothing over here in the last 30 days, but uh, yeah, 
occasionally. We'll see some earthquakes out there, right? It is listed in the kind of a seismically hazardous zone there between the Appalachian Mountains here and the new Madrid, Madrid zone. Um, so they, I don't think they get a lot of big quakes out here, but occasionally things move. All right, across the rest of the globe here, uh, let's see. We've got Tonga moving a little bit with a 5.6, fairly recent earthquake. New Zealand still uh, fairly quiet, aside from some, uh, some deeper threes there off the North Island coast. Typical movement here across the crunch zone. That's, it's always moving, folks. There's not a day that goes by where we don't see earthquake activity out here. It's just... It's always popping. Imagine living out there having to deal with earthquakes all the time. And I'm sure they're used to it. You know, Taiwan southward through the Indonesia Islands area, always getting earthquakes out there. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. One earthquake down in South Africa, it looks like. A little 3.3. Nothing being reported there from the USGS. Uh, let's check out Hawaii real quick. Nothing major going on there for the uh, the charts. It looks like they finally came back up online here in terms of the deformation monitoring there across the summit and the upper east rift zone. This has been offline for quite a while, but looking at this chart, it looks like they may have uh, <laughs> added a, uh, a tilt meter out here. Hopefully that's the correct one. Uh, this is a two-day chart. This is the past week and the past month here. Um, at least it's on, right? At least we're see, able to see uh, the measurements here in terms of inflation and deflation. Looks like that's up online as well. Uh, for the uh, past year, past five years, still going up. But uh, aside from that, I don't see anything major, uh, anything that would tell me that... Uh, uh, we're going to see another eruption at any moment. So things are actually pretty quiet out there underneath the area. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity either. All right, uh, let's move on to space <coughs> space weather activity. Excuse me. I still can't, uh, I still can't uh, get my correct voice going here, but uh, we'll deal with it. Uh, UV filter out here showing uh, a couple regions on the eastern limb here of uh, some value in terms of flaring. Uh, let's see here what we got. Newer sunspot here. Let's check out the most recent image, a little bit better, clear uh, image of it. Uh, this area was a region that's produced a couple M flares here in the last 24 hours. So this region, even though it's a little scattered here, uh, still somewhat complex there, and I think we need to watch that maybe for some further M flare activity uh, as it continues to uh, drift further into the Earth directed view. Now, I don't think it's going to grow any, if anything, while it's out there on the far side and now on the eastern limb, it has been decaying. But uh, it's got just enough energy here to produce a little bit of uh, uh, some solar flare activity, and that's going to be. Uh, that is going to be sunspot number 3901 here. Uh, flare threat right now, 10% chance for the X flare, M flare, 55, C flare, 99% chance there. No major auroras in the forecast there, folks. No major solar storms. All right, uh, let's talk about, uh, goodness, California weather. We get, we're getting... Uh, we're getting some big time uh, precipitation coming up here, folks. And I'm ready for it. I've been waiting for quite a while. I would love to have uh, these series of storm systems that are coming at us. Um, let me bring up the... I guess I can bring up the North Pacific here. Here's our developing low pressure system. It's basically going to uh, drop tremendously in the, low pre in the uh, pressure category creating what they call a bomb cyclone out here. Um, and I want to show you guys the, um, not that one here, upper air. Is it this one? Well, this kind of shows you guys the, uh, the height and anomaly here with that low pressure. Look at that. Tremendous low pressure uh, system right here. 
Uh, pretty much equal to a Category 4 hurricane, but we're not going to see the effects of a strong hurricane like that. But it will produce uh, quite a bit of rainfall out here, kick up the waves. And uh, along the coastline, I think that's when the strongest wind's going to kick up. But that is a dandy of a low-pressure system there. Where's our, uh, is it the wind? Here's the wind. Kind of shows a jet stream that's going to be kicking in here. Just aimed at the uh, the Pacific Northwest there. But we're going to get quite a shot here of rainfall um, following that event. Oh, mixed bag of stuff following that. All right. I want to show you guys the uh, precipitation uh, accumulated out here. Um, do they not have that? Maybe not. Maybe I need to go back here to the uh, western U.S. to be, be able to check this out. There we go. Total accumulated precipitation runs here. This is just until about Friday. It's Friday at 6 or so. That's still quite a bit of rainfall coming into the area. Aimed at northern California. The valley is going to get quite a bit of rainfall as well. Uh, we are expecting close to 3 inches of rain on Wednesday alone. Wednesday and Wednesday night. So it's going to be a dandy of them dandy of a storm system and then as we put this into motion there uh this goes up until about december 5th southern california uh, doesn't look like we're going to see much activity down there this event aimed at northern california northward but mainly at northern california uh, when it's all said and done here let me go to a different weather model it's a little bit more handy dandy to use the windy.com map here uh, to see the um, rain accumulation and whatnot. Um, rain accumulation right here. Here we go. So we're looking at the ECM WF model. We'll run this till about Friday night right there. Yeah, it's a little cold out here right now. We got 39 degrees outside of Chico. We got a, a freeze warning in effect. So this is just for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Right, the storm system's coming in for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, and we're picking up over four inches of rainfall here uh, just outside of Chico. Maybe a little bit more up towards Paradise and in the hills. And, of course, Redding always gets in as well. Uh, down here across Calusa County, uh, a little bit less. Uh, Glenn County up here, probably uh, a little bit more. You can see where the heavier rain's falling. And then as we put that into motion a little bit further, um, that includes half of... Uh, next week as well uh rainfall totals adding up just a little bit more on top of everything that we got so this is going to be a decent soaker that's the ecm wf model the gfs model runs here are showing a little bit more aggressive uh, in terms of their rainfall accumulation that's uh, a hefty amount there across the valley area if that is indeed um hold any true to it you know that's uh almost 10 inches of rainfall here in in a uh seven day period or so the hrr R model the high resolution one uh is not uh let's see here is it gonna show there we go oh no I popped it back to the ecmwf i don't know what's going on with this one but uh, we got a lot of rain coming in, folks. So I'm, I'm uh, a little bit excited about that. I love to barbecue in the rain. Uh, it might si sound a little weird, but that's what I love to do. When it's rainy and windy, I break out the barbecue and uh, hang outside and enjoy the rainfall. Not soaking wet. I got a an awning here where I don't get wet and I can barbecue in the in the uh, in outside of the rain. And uh, it's pretty nice. I do enjoy the rainfall, and it looks like we're going to get quite a bit of it there. Um, let's see what else we got here. I think that's about it, folks. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm a little bit tired, and um, got to get up somewhat early in the morning as well. Seismograph stations out there, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on at this current moment, but uh, just stay safe out there, and we'll. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Make sure you guys subscribe here to this channel if you're a new viewer. 
definitely appreciate it if you give this video a like as well and of course jump on board and uh, maybe leave a comment there we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on um tomorrow morning sometime for the tuesday morning update